everybody. I'm Carol Stimmel. I'm the founder and the CEO of Manifest Mind in New York. And today we're at the Engerati studio um, running some very interesting discussions. And this morning we're going to be talking to Michael John with the European Network for Cybersecurity. Michael, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, could you just take a few minutes and tell us a little bit about your organization and your role, what you guys are doing? Sure, yeah. Um, Within the European Network for Cybersecurity, I work as a senior consultant, and in my role, I help uh, owners of critical infrastructures to tackle their challenges of security uh, in the systems. So, the European Network for Cybersecurity is uh, an independent, uh, not for profit organization. Okay. And the idea um, is basically that also the owners of the uh, European Network for Cybersecurity are the owners of the critical infrastructure themselves. So we can, together with partners mm -hmm. that we select, bring together the right experience and knowledge to team up and really um, try to tackle the problem together and make a difference in this challenge. Okay, I, I think that's a pretty interesting topic. I mean, in general, cybersecurity, uh, concern about hacking, I mean, we're yeah. all online now, but when it comes to the electricity grid, and most, um, uh, specifically, the smart grid and the smart meter network, what, what are the unique problems and challenges you see? Right. Um, so I believe the really uniqueness of critical infrastructure is that, in this case, um, safety and security are getting together. Um, so I'm, I'm German and I had a long time explaining okay. people the difference between safety and security in my previous world and we were all focused on the security part. But now here uh, security where I try to protect machine from the people uh, is coming back to the way that when the machine itself could be compromised it could therefore harm the people again. So we therefore often speak about operational technology, mm -hmm. OT, and yeah. the, the uniqueness in there is, is really that uh, safety and security are coming back together. So you're talking about not just physical safety, yeah. but you're also talking about um, this is one of the uniquenesses. So when the grid goes down, I mean, it's not just uh, the driving our economy, it's driving yeah. pretty much everything. The transportation yeah. systems go down, the public safety systems go down. So you're concerned with all of that. Yeah. It sounds like, okay, so um, what, with your organization, what are some of the things you and your partners do? Um, you know, if you were looking, what are your top three priorities? What are you finding right. most concerning right, right now? Um, so our priorities, so to say, are at the moment we see, when you look here at the fair, you have a, a lot of new systems that are being presented and, and we believe we need them to tackle the energy, energy challenges of the future. Mm -hmm. So you, you will need to have an interconnected network and while we are introducing new systems, it's important for us that they are introduced with security by design in mind. So we, we uh, strongly advise that when we create new functionality, we always look at the security part and therefore ensure that not only the use cases, the functional use cases are addressed, but also the security is addressed. So this, this is one main part. And the other thing is that we see as the world gets more and more interconnected, also the legacy systems that have been isolated in the past suddenly become reachable. So when I have a lot of legacy technology that um, in the past was secure just um, because it was not accessible, now it might become accessible to some corporate network and I need to reassess the security of those systems. So that, that are the two things we, we have to deal the most with. Okay, so you know one of the, um, earlier on in, your, in our talk today you talked uh, a little bit about the, the confusing language um, related to cybersecurity. So can you clarify a little bit uh, the difference between um, se the security of a system and the, the more um, well-known societal concerns about data privacy. And is there, do you, do you play in both of those worlds? Yes, yes. Uh, in, in, in fact, we have uh, certain applications where you see privacy being a high concern. I, I believe the most prominent one is the smart metering domain, mm -hmm. um, because there I really um, will obtain personal information of the um, individuals, because the meter is installed in the household, um, load profiles could be taken, and there have been a lot of studies done in the past already that, that can basically detect a lot of information from the load profiles. Right. So, 
privacy is certainly a concern in there. Um, if we morph towards inside of the smart grid domain, um, I have more machine-to-machine -machine communication, privacy is uh, less of a concern because there are no data from individuals involved. But at the end, um, we see smart grid and smart metering will come together because for simple use cases as demand response management, a lot of people envision that they will need certain data coming mm -hmm. from the meters to match their production. So privacy and security at the end, also in our domain, will get together. Okay, so we only have a few minutes left, Michael. So um, if you could just sort of wrap up and let us, let us understand a, just a little bit more about the concept of building in uh, privacy and security from the very beginning when we start um, outfitting, outfitting our grids and, and um, how important that is. Right. Okay, so um, I, I believe for, for us one of the, the main principles that we always advocate when systems have to be deployed now um, is to be future-proof. Mm -hmm. So having systems that you can securely update in the future, not only to introduce new functionality, but also to introduce new security functionality, uh, we believe is, is one of the, the most critical uh, things to, to address this. Um, that, that is one part. And the, the other element that, that we see is um, having uh, enough testing done of the devices. Okay. So we are now in a phase where requirements are being defined, products are being created and rolled out. You test the, say, the, the functionality. Can I actually do with the device what I planned to do this? But then from the security perspective, I also have requirements and I need to check are they implemented in the correct way. That might be done before rolling out, but maybe it's already too late, the devices have been installed. So the, the only thing I need to have as a fallback point is really the possibility to have a secure upgrade of my system. Okay, so things like over-the-air upgrades, yes, radio yes, firmware, okay. Yes. All right, well, Michael, thank you. Michael's with, again with the European Network for Cybersecurity, and I'm Carol Stimmel with Manifest Mind in the Angerati studio, and thanks so much. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate thank you for having me here. Yeah.